What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be making some grilled pork chops, getting that wood fire flavor in there from our Ninja Wood Fire Grill. Let's get going. All right, y'all, so the first thing I did was I got these bad boys seasoned up. We used a little bit of uh, duck fat spray for a uh, you know, little binder on those bad boys. They're about one inch thick uh, pork chops. All right, pretty big, pretty big boys right there. All right, we got them seasoned up with a little of that competition sazon that I got from my guy Big Rome when I was out in Houston last month. All right, stuff's good stuff. Has a great color, great flavor. Perfect for your pork or your chicken. So I will put a link down below so you guys can get some of it if you want. Once we got those pork chops seasoned up, we let them kind of sit for a little bit, sweat out a little bit of the moisture, suck in some of that good flavor from that sazon. Now it's time to get that Ninja Wolf Fire fired up. We're just gonna use a regular uh, competition blend pellet, okay? So nothing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. We're gonna set it on the grill setting, but hit that wood fire technology button so we get that good smoke while we're grilling up our pork chops. We're gonna cook them to about 140 internal, in the thickest part. I'm gonna pull them off, let them rest, then we'll be eating some great pork chops. We'll be checking those temperatures with this week's sponsor. That's right, Thermo Pro. We got our Thermo Pro Lightning Instant Read Thermometer. That's how we're gonna check our temps, but more on them later. All right, nothing left to do but get this wood fire going. Come on down, let's get it going. All right, we're setting the grill setting on high. Get it to 20 minutes. Hit that wood fire flavor technology button. Hit start. Let it go through its ignition process and we'll get those pork chops it's on. saying to add the food. So what are we gonna do? Let's add that food. These chops are kind of big. So we're gonna get these kind of scrunched up. I did not think this through. We're gonna have to go in batches here. We got this one just chilling. We'll get these done in no time. They're looking good, baby. We're gonna shut it down, check it in a couple minutes, and we'll give them a flip. All right, y'all, while those are grilling up real nice, let's talk about this week's sponsor, Thermopro. I am constantly preaching the need for an instant read thermometer because I don't cook to time. People ask me all the time, how long did that cook take? Listen, we're cooking to internal temperatures. Your cooker might be different than mine, all right? We use this beautiful instant read thermometer from Thermopro. So on this one, we're gonna use our Thermopro Lightning Instant Read Thermometer. It has their fastest instant read technology with one second display. It has an auto on function. The Thermopro Lightning has an LED display for when it's uh, bright and sunny outside, you'll still be able to see your temperatures. It is waterproof and the lightning's accurate up to a half a degree. It has a sleek design. It has a rubber coating on the outside for uh, protections in case you drop it. If you're like me, I drop my thermometers all the time, but this is a brand new tool in my Thermopro arsenal. If you guys want to get one of these brand new Thermopro lightning instant read thermometers, there'll be a link down below in the video description. It is an affiliate link, but it will help out the channel and it doesn't cost you anything more. All right, we're ready to get these bad boys flipped. Come on down, let's take a look. Let's give them a flip. Oh, those are looking too nice. Make sure there's plenty of contact. <coughs> All right, let's do a little temp check on them. All right, we got a little ways to go. All right, let's shut them down and we'll finish them up. All right, guys, we're temping out a little over 140. It's time to pull these bad boys. We'll let them rest, do a little tent over them, get that other pork chop cooked, and then we'll uh, tear into these bad boys. Right, light tent, some tin foil on top. Just let them rest. We've cooked that fourth pork chop. Let's get this uh, tin foil off real quick. Get ourselves a meaty boy right here. You can see the juice is loose on these bad boys. Let's get on the cutting board over here. We'll chop into it. Now these are bone-in pork chops. I assume probably taking off the pork shoulder, but uh, let's just go right into it. All right, plenty juicy. Looking luscious and lovely, of course. Let's get ourselves a little bite to try on camera because y'all love it when I do that. And my dog's dancing over here too, looking for a bite. Let's give it a try. 
Okay, y'all, here we go. Got us a nice bite. Oh, yeah, babe. Mm. Guys, you can't beat that with a bat right there. Mm. Juicy, tender pork, right? Cooked perfectly because we cooked to internal temperatures using that old lightning instant read thermometer. Link down below. <laughs> Guys, uh, the Big Rums competition Sazon seasoning. I give that one a look, cause that was some good stuff. Got a little sweet, got a little heat. And those are my favorite combinations of flavors, right? But it's good stuff. Guys, if you wanna get yourself one of these wood fire grills, and I suggest you do, hit the link down below, right? It's an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you anything more to use, but it helps out the channel. If you wanna get anything else in my videos, knives, cutting boards, merch, all that stuff, there are also links below. If you wanna become a show producer like all these awesome people scrolling across the screen right now, people that love a good pork chop grilled up with a little bit of that wood fire flavor, <laughs> hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we are done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.